Interest rates. I'm going to do this in two videos. This video is an introduction to interest rates. The second video, check that one out, will be about the impacts of interest rates on consumers and producers. So likely to be something to mention in a 9 or a 12 marker. Let's go for it. So interest rates set by the Bank of England. The Bank of England sets interest rates. And what they set the interest rate to will affect what high street banks' interest rates are. High street banks like your Barclays, HSBC, etc. So interest rates, they affect people or businesses, consumers or producers, if they have savings or they have a loan, or they want to take a loan out. So let's start with the loans side. So loans, the definition would be the percentage of a loan that is charged as interest to the borrower. Let's take an example of that. So imagine you've taken a loan out for a hundred pounds. Hundred pound loan, and it's based on a 2% interest rate per annum. Per annum, if you see that, means per year. So a hundred quid was the loan at 2%. So at the end of the year, year begins per annum, you would have to pay back the hundred quid because you loaned that, you took that out. So you have to pay back the hundred pounds plus what the interest rate calculates to. The way to do that is take the interest rate, 2%, which is 0.02, and times that by your loan, £100 in this case. And that would come to, if you do that sum, it comes to 102. So at the end of the year, you'd have to pay back 102 quid. £100 because that was the original loan you took out, and £2 because that's the interest. On the other side, it works exactly the same way if you have savings. So savings. The percentage of savings, your savings hopefully, that is paid as interest to the saver. Example, a 5% interest rate per annum, per year, on a £1,000 of savings. So at the end of the year, end of the year, because it's per annum, so you would get, well you'd still have your £1,000 of savings plus the interest you have earned on your savings. The way to calculate that is 5%. So 0.05 times by the amount of savings you have, which is a thousand pounds in this case. Add that together, so your original savings plus that calculation for the interest comes to 1,050 pounds. 1,000 of that is your original savings and 50 pounds is the interest, which makes that 1050. Check out my other video where we look at consumers and producers, the impacts of interest rates on them. That's big stuff.